Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, we intend to talk about our top 5 very important and high paying government jobs that you can opt after qualifying graduation in biological science. So I'm going to only share those jobs which is somehow linked with your field of study. Either you belong from zoology background, botany background, microbiology, biotechnology background or any other human physiology background, any other background of life sciences, still you can be present in your same field and can get a good sense of uh, security and money from the government jobs. So let's see all the five important jobs. Okay, so the job number one is lecturer. Whether you belong to a field of zoology, a botany, human physiology, any other field of uh, biological sciences, lecturership is the best job possible that you can offer. So it's an academic job. I know all the students, uh, they don't always like the academic field uh, as a job. But still, if you are a fond of academic field, then lecturership job is the best job that is possible. Okay, Because you can get a government lecturership job or sometimes private. But if we talk about government lecturership jobs, in this case, uh, the pay band scale started with near about 35 to 40,000 rupees a month and it continues to rise as you become assistant professor, then associate professor, then professor finally and it can go and go up and rise up till 2 lakh, 2 and a half lakh rupees per month even. That much big of a salary can be offered to a lecturer. So obviously the best possible job uh, after biological science graduation. Now the second job uh, you can go up with is a research scientist. So the research scientist means you can be a scientist of different grades. Uh, there's a grading system of scientists belonging from grade A, B, C, D and continues like that. So in that case also as your research scientist you will be uh, in charge of a lab of government institute. It can be CSR institute or it can be ICR institute, ICMR institute, whatever it is. In that institute you will be in charge of, of conducting certain research and different PhD students will be undergoing PhD under your supervision. So simply we are talking about lab PI and so you become that part and that personality and you will get a job uh, and that's a secure job and the pay scale for that job initially begins with 45 to 50,000 rupees then started and continue with uh, 70,000, 80,000, 90,000 and even 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 50,000 it continues with your experience, with age, with time okay so this is another very very good job so the very first one was academic the second one if you like research so as a student if you like academic first job is for you if you like to do in research second job is for you now the third one is for them who neither prefer the academic uh, nor prefer the research based job who is going to be involved in any kind of office uh, based jobs so in that case uh, the third option is forest range officer and different forest officers via conducted via IFS Indian Forest Services exam and in that exam if you qualify you get different uh, options to become a forest officer forest ranger and the salary is a huge and in that case you can continue with uh, 50 55 thousand and continues with uh, so much salary like two lakh more than two lakh rupees per month can also be given you as a salary and it's also a respectful job and a job uh, that is cherished by many so now the fourth one that you can continue if it's particularly belong from either agricultural science or if you belong from zoology then the fourth one is for you and that is regarding uh, the fisheries and animal farm officers and researchers so animal farm and fisheries hatcheries these are present uh, the government funded ones that i'm talking about i'm not talking about the private because the private ones does not offer that of a salary but for the government ones they offer a really good salary either you do uh, involve there as a researcher or you go there as a technician lab assistant any other post it starts uh, the salary range from 8000 for a lab assistant continues uh, and increasing based on your designation if you become a research scientist their salary will be 25 to 30000 rupees at starting and if you become senior scientist your salary will be 75 to 80000 rupees so this is really a good uh, place to get a good salary and also a good job uh, for for your future purpose and being in your field now the fifth one is uh, regarding Central Drug Research Institute and the Food Corporation of India. So FCI and CDRI, these are the two different sections also but still uh, this is a sector of the job uh, 
the vacancy of which is uh, very less and they are present very less every year but still the competition is huge uh, because you need to apply for that and it's a huge bulk of students that are applying for it but if you get uh, this qualification and if you qualify for that job you are going to get some good handsome salary along with that some good perks as well and involved in working with some good reputed organizations throughout India and the salary range also starting from pay band like 30, 33,000 rupees starting and continues with a uh, higher range salary as uh, you go as a higher designation officer. And there's a bonus uh, point that I'm going to discuss, the sixth uh, important government job that you can go with, that's a health and uh, medical development officer under state government of India. Every single state government has their own health division and they have their own food division and medical division and they always need medical officers, they always need uh, the health officers to deal with. Now generally the medical officers are difficult terms uh, just uh, as a uh, person from the biological background because generally they recruit uh, doctors for the medical uh, officers, post of medical officers so you can try the health officials. A health officials is the one that is free and you can go up with that and the salary range also starting from 20 to 25,000 rupees and it also continues to rise 50, 60, 70,000 rupees a month during the time you get retired and this job is very uh, specious because uh, the, the workload is very less and the job security is also very good. So you know the huge craze of joining government job has been raised uh, for last few years and why not because of the huge uh, security of the job and the huge fat shake that you can get uh, from the central government although the last one that I discussed is of the state government that's why the salary range is a little low but all the state central government salaries that we discussed is always ranging from uh, like 50,000 rupees and continues to even 1 lakh 2 lakh rupees uh, in such some examples so obviously do not waste your time if you intend to go for this government jobs uh, better go into the preparation for the government jobs exam particularly the public service commission or the FCI's own exam CDRI's own exam as well as uh, the exams conducted by all the state for recruiting as a medical and health officials so be prepared for that instead of applying for masters you can directly go into this job and prepare start preparing for the jobs after the graduation and that's my own opinion because masters will uh, take two years of your life and do not waste that if you want to join a government job because they only want a graduation degree from your side so if you have the graduation degree prepare for this and you are definitely on the line for for this kind of job okay so i hope this video give you some important information if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and i'm also going to put uh, the details about uh, whatever i mentioned in the description box so that you get to know about all these uh, jobs in even more details so stay tuned and watch the series of video lectures thank you